Welcome back to another video, everyone. So the final Crash Team Racing Grand Prix has finished. I think it finished yesterday or Sunday. We've been getting them every month for the past eight months, I think. Every month, looking forward to that new track, the new characters. I mean, we're still going to be looking forward to the new characters because they're still going to be adding characters. We're going to look back on this in years to come. I thought that was Shrek in first place for a second. It's nice to see someone's actually using Geary, though. But yeah, this game is going to live on for a long time. I mean, think about the original Crash Team Racing. That's over 20 years old and people still play that people were still playing that before this game came out this game is going to live on for a very long time and we're gonna we're just gonna remember the grand prix days we were there for the fresh content every single month i've noticed that a lot of people are happy that the grand prix are over because now they feel like they're sort of free they can choose whatever character customization they want don't have to worry about getting extra bonus nitro points or anything two gearies in the lobby night you know what Let, let's go with geary gearies unite as i was saying though people are happy that the grand prix are over because they can finally chill out a little bit until they add the developer time trials, which might be coming this week. If they're going to follow the Grand Prix patterns with this new post Grand Prix content, then it will be this week. Because uh, usually what happens is they'll end the Grand Prix on the Monday or the Sunday or whatever it is. I think it just depends on time zones. Then they'll post the roadmap for the new content two days after on Wednesday. And then the update will come out on Thursday, sometimes Friday. I don't know. There's not really one sort of schedule that they stick to. Crap, I got TNT'd. I'll tell you what, talking and focusing on the gameplay at the same time is an incredibly difficult thing to do. Where's the other Geary at? I need him to come third. That way we can see three Gearys on the podium and everyone left, everyone disconnected. Nice. I'm looking forward to the developer time trials. I've learned a, a few new tricks over the past month. Doing the Velo time trials really improved me as a player. Definitely not perfect. I still fuck up quite a bit, but I'm better and I feel like I'm now at a level where I can go up against the Beanox time trials. Damn, no Gearys. Oh, got Rilla Roo. You know what? Rilla Roo is a character that I don't see as much as I thought. I would. Considering everyone was asking for him, everyone was like really requesting Rillaroo before he got added. I don't see him that often anymore. Rillaroo needs to get more love. I think Cortex Castle just got voted, so this is my opportunity to show off my newfound skill. As long as I don't get hit with an item, I should be able to keep Blue Flame around the whole thing. But I'm really looking forward to these Beanox time trials. I'm looking forward to seeing the reward for them. I don't know. I, I'm hoping it's not a decal. The Velo time trial reward was very disappointing, to be honest. I mean, I get why people don't want like the characters or skins locked behind, you know, it's such a hard challenge because not everyone's going to be able to beat the Velo time trials, let alone the Beanox time trials. But I don't think there's anything wrong with locking a cool skin behind such a tough challenge. That just gives more incentive to play the game, something to grind for. And I just kept Blue Flame around... Sorry, what was I saying? Kept Blue Flame around the whole track? No. It gives us something to grind for. If you're not good enough to do it, it makes you want to improve until you get good enough to unlock it. I think there should be a really cool reward for going through such a tough challenge. I'm really hoping that they're going to stick to the Grand Prix schedule and release the new content this Thursday. And you know what else I'm curious about? How long is this new content going to go on for? Probably the thing that I'm most excited about in this post Grand Prix content is the characters. I love big character rosters, new characters coming to the game, and I'm intrigued. I really want to know how many and who. Willy Wumper, is he finally going to make an appearance? Personally, I think he will at some point. Madame Amberly might appear. She'll have to be scaled down quite a bit. The Evil Twins, they're probably my most at Evil Twins and Willy Wumper, they're probably my two most anticipated characters. Well, three, I guess. I, every time I think of the Evil Twins, I think of it as one character. And who knows, maybe they'll be in the same cart together. They're definitely small enough to fit in the same cart. I'm just incredibly grateful that they're continuing to add content to this game. They've been doing it for so long already, and it doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon. Before I end the video, I'm going to go into Cortex Castle on a time trial, and I'm going to try and hold Blue Flame around the whole thing, just to prepare for these death trials that are hopefully coming in the next couple of days. Well, there's a Cortex Castle there, but I'm going to do it in time trial, though, because that is, well, that's what we're going to be doing the death trials on. Some people were speculating what the characters were going to be, you know, the character that they use for the actual trial itself. I believe they're going to be with multiple different characters. I don't think they'll just be one specific character that they use. That would be pretty cool. Spices things up a little bit. Cortex Castle. I'd say the biggest change since before Velo and now is that I've switched driving classes from speed to drift. I just feel so much more comfortable with drift. It's not that much slower than speed. You just get so much more control with it. So I'm probably not going to show much of the first lap. I'll just skip to when I get blue flame. Okay, here we go. First attempt. Keep, keep that in mind just in case I do it.
What? <laughs> Holy shit! This is a fluke. I don't even know. I did it! First try. I mean, I didn't do it the whole course, which is what I'm probably going to have to do for the dev trials. But the fact that I kept it... You know, this is rare. Before Velo trials, I never did this. Well, before switching to Drift. I mean, I'm going all over the place right now. I'm making some seriously... Oh, yeah, yeah. Some real dangerous turns there. Made some very tight turns by drifting the wrong way there. I still held my blue flame, though, for the whole lap and then half of the second lap. I'd say a couple more attempts and I would have been able to hold that around the whole thing, giving me a fair shot at the upcoming developer time trial. But we'll just have to wait and see. We'll find out in a couple days. It might not be in a couple days. It might be the week after. We don't know when it's going to be just yet. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If the dev trials do come out on Thursday, then that will be my next video. So yeah. I will be doing daily episodes just like I did with the Velo Ghosts. So yeah, thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.